Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt, and today we're doing another Michter's Rye review. While shooting my Michter's Barrel Strength Rye video, I realized that I had never shot the Michter's 10 Rye video, and I was like, idiot? You stupid idiot, what were you thinking? And then I was like, you know what? I wasn't thinking. And then I was like, well, maybe you should have thought about that. And I said, well, if I had thought about it, then I would have been thinking. And then I said, well, maybe you should start thinking. And then I said, well, obviously I started if I'm having these thoughts. Before this bottle runs dry, we need to review 2021 Michter's 10 Dry. America. Michter's 10-year-old Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey, single barrel. Barrel number 21G, 1958. It's a good year. It's the year I got my first BJ blend job as a professional whiskey blender. The Michter's legacy traces back to America's first whiskey distilling company established in 1753. During its rich history, it has also been known as Shanks and Bombergers. Over the years, Michter's has earned praise from whiskey lovers as well as acclaim from writers for its exceptional small production rise, bourbons, and American whiskeys. They're talking about me. Although the only thing I write is my order at McDonald's to the person taking my order because I'm too embarrassed to say it out loud. We hope that our single barrel spirits show you that specialty whiskey making in America is alive and well and as good as it gets. Thank you for trying our uniquely flavorful whiskeys. Enjoy. In the Michter's tradition, hailing from America's first whiskey distilling company, this rye whiskey is made from higher quality American rye and aged for 10 years in a fire charred new American white oak barrel until it meets our exceptional quality standards. It is then further mellowed by our signature filtration. I love the bottle shape. It's not the traditional Michter's bottle shape. The bottle is shaped like Dwight Howard, tiny head, super wide shoulders, and then it just narrows down to the bottom. My wife once told me that her hall pass would be Dwight Howard. When she asked me who my hall pass would be, her friend Amber. She's hot. I managed to win a raffle locally here in Colorado last year for the opportunity to buy this bottle. That's right. That's just the way whiskey buying goes nowadays. You have to win the opportunity to buy it. So hell yeah, shout out to Redlands Liquors in Grand Junction, Colorado. If you're in Western Colorado, Redlands is a great, great liquor store. Time to get this 10-year-old rye whiskey a little bit dizzy and a little bit frisky. Look at it go so fast. Wow, I've never seen a 10-year-old rye spin so easily inside of a Glencairn glass. Oh, air. Hello, oak. Not even a joke on the oak. Mmm. Wow. This is an oaky, sweet, delightful treat. When I first opened this bottle, I thought for sure that the nose smelled more like a bourbon than a rye. I thought it smelled like an aged bourbon, like a 10-year-old bourbon would smell. But after this sucker got down about 60%, now it smells like an aged rye. Oak and almonds trail mix, a very nice trail mix nose. If you stored the best trail mix inside of a booze filled number four charred oak tree for 10 years, that's what that would smell like. The nose is great, I do love the nose. Now let's put it down the hatch and see where the score goes. Down the hatch. That is sultry and sexy, silky and smooth. Mm. So this rye whiskey is 92 proof. So it's not gonna break the punching bag on the back of your throat. But what is so enjoyable is the silky mouthfeel. It really coats the mouth 
exceptionally well for a 92 proof whiskey. The flavor starts at the front of the palate, works its way to the back. The way that this whiskey interacts with your palate is very cohesive, and I feel like that's probably the most pretentious sentence I've used in my entire life. So I'm gonna go ahead and follow that sentence up with something less pretentious, like I'm shooting this video in my underwear, and they're red. No special occasion, they were just clean. One more sip. This rye is like perfectly oaked. It's so perfectly oaked. For some reason, I just thought of oatmeal cream pie, and I don't know why. For some reason, my brain went to oatmeal cream pie, which is strange for a rye. The flavor profile of this rye is remarkable. It's so good. I love it so much. It's weird to get such a complex whiskey off of such a low proof whiskey. Personally, for me, to get this much complexity off of a 92 proof pour is kind of outside the norm. I would characterize this rye as mostly sweet with a medium to medium heavy oak. I'd say a medium to medium heavy oak. There's a residual spiciness on the back of the palate from the rye, but overall it's sweet, smooth sailing. And then the oak kind of like takes over here in your jowls a bit. And then the oak kind of like resides there. And I approve of it 100%. This might be one of the highest scores I've ever given a whiskey under 100 proof. I like it so much. Michter's Single Barrel 10 year old Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey receives a score from me tonight of 8.6. 8.6 Michter's 10 Rye Whiskey. 8.6. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Michter's 10 Rye is just a home run for me. It's just a home run. And if in this video you say, another bottle I can't get, guess what? I couldn't either. I had to win a raffle in order to buy it. So I do like it a lot. Hopefully I can get my hands on another one at some point in my life. But I do enjoy the Michter's 10 Rye so much. If you made it this far in the video, do me a huge favor, hit the subscribe button. My name is Matt, this is ADHD Whiskey. And like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on really just trusting your gut. If you go somewhere and it doesn't feel right, trust your gut and leave. If your gut is telling you you shouldn't do something, trust your gut and don't do it. A few weeks ago, I was with my family in Grand Junction, Colorado, and my wife was like, you hungry, babe? And I was like, babe, so hungry. And she was like, where do you wanna eat? And I'm like, totally up to you, babe. And she's like, I think you should choose. And I was like, son of a bitch, we're playing this game. So she ran into a store to max out her credit card. And in the meantime, I was Googling restaurants. What did I find? A Mongolian barbecue. And I thought a Mongolian barbecue was a place where you sat around a table and they did the chef thing with a hat and the flipping and the flopping and the making the jokes. They throw an egg white at your kid's face. You know, that kind of thing. But we walk in and it wasn't like that. And my wife and I both got a feeling like maybe we shouldn't be there. She turned around and said, no. And I was like, all right, babe. And then she was like, wait, we'll just do it. And I was like, whatever you like, babe. So we sat down and like four flies started buzzing around us. Sidebar, my children hate flies a lot. We don't know how to order or what to do, but eventually we figure it out. My wife gets her order, she doesn't like it. That's a bummer. So after my wife got her meal, we waited and waited and waited. And then one of my children got their meal. And then we waited and waited and waited. And my wife had already determined that hers was disgusting and she wasn't gonna eat anymore. So she was done. And then my six-year-old, she ate a little bit of hers and then she was done. And then my five-year-old, who takes forever to eat, she didn't have hers yet. And it took a while for hers to come. And then our appetizer never came. And then the waitress came up to us and she told me, hey, nobody made your food. And I was like, okay. She said, I'm gonna, 
I'm going to, I'm going to get that made right away. And I was like, okay, that's good. Because everyone's done here and no, I haven't got any food yet. Then about 15 minutes later, she came back and said, yeah, I don't know. Nobody, nobody made your food. Nobody made your food. So we left. I wonder if anybody decided to make my food yet. Nobody made your food. What if you hired a house painter? And then you waited a long time and your house didn't get painted. And then the person who you hired to paint your house approached you and said, Hey, nobody painted your house. That's where we were at.